Okay, gonna keep this hand. Seems uh, like quite a good hand. Quite explosive. Gonna start with the ancient tube into Grim Monolith. Then we'll have six. Then next turn we're gonna have six mana. The wasteland. Yeah. It's fine. Um since we can can we go for it, master we don't have a second a third artifact. Quite an expensive hand. I think maybe just go beyond and post into Lowstone is the best play. Let's see what the opponent is on. Only Wasteland so far it can be a lot of different decks. They did F6 something, so it should be a Eldrassa deck. Yeah, looks like it. And they keep on drawing fairly well. Can attack with the loss of Golem. Can't untap Queen Monolith yet. Next time we can play a Forge Master. It's gonna be very hard for the Eldrassa deck to do. They can't play a lesson of a tree yet. That's fine. So Egan is not that great. Ascending Time is not that great. We can play both the next turn if you choose to untap your monolith. But Forge Master is also a very strong card here. And if we choose just to untap, we could play a Tormund here and take away our Irgun or our, our Sundering Titan. Not gonna attack here. Trading off the Endless one from Lots of Gun doesn't seem great. Ghost God is very good against us, but he's probably gonna play a Totem of Seer. Yep, and I'm assuming they're gonna take the Ugin. Both of these cards are very hard to deal with for the rest of the deck. Ugin is just a 7 10 big beater. And the uh, you can, can just like them both down a lot of different things. Okay. So we get to untap with Forge Master. Which is great. We got seven mana if we want. We can, yeah. Seems great. We can get Platinum Imperium and our He Steel Hellkite. Hellkite can die to dismember. Fink and Platinum Imperium, they don't have any way to beat. Let's just play a Transfer, play a Seed of Trader, and pass the turn. And then, end of turn, we can fetch up and Platinum Imperium, or a Steel Alkite. Worm Coil doesn't seem great enough. Other than that, Metal Worker doesn't seem great. And there's not much else we can get at this point. Of course, a portal is good. Get some card advantage going. 
What's your question? Do you actually keep the lesson going on around or keep the Forge Master? I think maybe you keep the Forge Master. The lesson on Golem has done its work. If you are sacrificing the monolith, it's also a question. Let's see what happens here. You got a lot of options. There's another Todd Nuts here. Definitely not gonna add that the monolith, that's for sure. Because then the last. Gotta get away. St we need a steel haircut here. Gonna be quite good. Mm. I think that's the best choice here. And uh, in fact, we did destroy both top notes here. It's Yeah, let's do that. If the broken metal is not good enough. It's either heal cut or cut me but you can you're not on the life pressure. You're just gonna destroy his board and suddenly if you don't have a dismember then you are in great shape. Not great draws there. Play with Suva, copying Ancient Tomb, Creatures for one doesn't do much. So let's just, let me just play a chess for zero here. And play a Suva on and Ancient and we win. We had some problem there, so we didn't get to do the sideboarding. I'll keep this one. So we had some issues in that um, game. So basically what's happened was that um, in the sideboarding games between round between game one and two, they had some internet connection problems and we didn't get to sideboard anything at all. It's not optimal. And then our opponent basically mulligan to one and just conceded on the spot. So, um, two and on then, and uh, I'll see you in round three.